Hi and welcome to In The Craft Room with Debbie. And in this session it's all about stepper cards. This is one of my favourite techniques because you don't measure and the possibilities are endless. So in this workshop what I'm going to do is show you how to do what we call a single stepper card and we'll go through making the project that you see on your screen. However what we'll do after the session is I'll show you another four to five techniques on what you can create with different shaped stepper cards. So to get started what you need to do is go over to debbiemore.co.uk and download workshop 8. Now workshop 8 is on the beautiful Dreaming of Roses collection. Now we're going to be using elements from the craft box if you get in the craft box or you can go to get the digital option of the USB key and CD-ROM of the Dreaming of Roses collection. Now once you download it what you need to do is follow the instructions to get the equipment or should say have your equipment ready. So we need a pair of scissors, we need some glue, adhesive, some foam pads, you also need some white card and you'll also need some purple card and then you'll need some uh, lace and ribbon and of course you will need to download your project sheets. Now what we have is this beautiful purple colour, as you can see I've already cut out my topper that goes on there and then we've got this beautiful paper effect. So this, the virtual workshop, the idea behind it is you can pause me or commute me. It's in real time, so that means that we'll craft along together. And if you have any questions or queries, just write them in the chat box and we'll answer them. And it doesn't matter if you write them after the actual live session, because we'll actually pick them up any time later. Are you ready? So let's get started. So remember the project that we're doing this is the project that we're going to be doing. As you can see, if you have the craft box, you have step-by-step -step instructions, but we're going to go through on how to create that little stepper card. Now, what I've said is you do need a white piece of card. If you have any paper handy, one of my step, my top techniques, I should say, is to get your shape on a piece of paper so you get the idea. So what I'll do is I'll have the paper ready as well while I go through the different techniques later on. So to get started, what I'm going to start off with is getting my base card ready. So this is an A4 card and I folded it in half to create my A5 card blank. And then what I'm going to create is I'm going to decorate it with this lovely vintage feel with the beautiful roses on. Now you can trim it down, but one of my top tips is to literally get your adhesive and I'm using my 3-in-1 glue and you can use any of your adhesive. Now I prefer this 3-in-1 glue because if I'm in a rush I don't have to worry about the paper bobbling. So I'm going to fix that onto there like so and I wiggle it into place. You haven't got very long. You have I would say about maybe 30 to 60 seconds and then it bonds. And what I do is I turn it over and then use my card to trim down my paper like so and you can do it anywhere you want it I find it much easier to do it this way there we go so there is my card base ready now before I create my stepper now this is what I was going to tell you later or um, sorry earlier which I meant by having your white piece of paper so while that is completely drying we're going to use this as a template so hopefully you've cut out your topper. Now we're going to back that to start off with, okay? Now to back it, I'm going to use some purple card. Now normally you be quite straightforward because you can just do straight lines if it's a, a rectangle or a square, but this is called a flower burst or some burst technique shape. So what you need to do is leave enough space. This is how I do my backing is I cut out roughly the amount of card that I need to back it, hold it in shape, or so should just leave a little bit of a mill round each side, and then start to follow the design round like so. There isn't a wrong or right way, there is just your way. If you don't want to do it this way, you can just do a square or, um, or you don't actually have to use it at all. Now you can get different die shapes and the, the metal dies will cut these out for you but that's not always possible when it comes to matte and layering your different shapes. So as you can see I'm doing each section as I go around the edges 
and then just leave a little mill all the way around to get that beautiful pop of colour like that. So how is everybody going? Are you still with me? Remember, write any messages that you have on the side and then what I'm going to do is just adhese this, that's not even English, stick this to this and then fix that in place like so. There we go and I'm happy with that. So that is my topper ready. Now for the card shape, this is a top tip when it comes to stepper cards. Now we're going to use it on the white piece of paper before we do it on the card so I can explain how it's done. So what you do for a stepper card, this is the edge of the spine. You always start off with your topper. Your topper will tell you where to cut. So get your topper, hold it where you want it to go. You always want at least, I would say, a couple of mil clearance. And then I put a line like so. And then what I'm going to do is rotate it and use my scissors and cut all the way through, almost halfway down, but not fully and then you fold this side down like so. Now use a bone folder or a creaser because that will help it give it that sharp edge and you do that for both sides. And then what you do is then you just open it up, push in your stepper. So that is creating your stepper card and you haven't really measured because this is how you would normally do it, but we're going to actually put this on an angle like so. So I haven't measured, but your topper always dictates where you're going to actually cut. Now let's put that to one side and let's go to the main card blank. So what I've done is obviously this is now dried. So then this is going to go like so. And then I'm going to just take my pencil, make a little mark like I've just showed you of where I want to cut. And then you're going to cut halfway down. Now if you want to, you can use a paper trimmer. But I find it easy just to cut with your scissors and then you're going to press this forward like so. And this will, is a little bit more trickier because it's on card. And then you're going to score it that way, fold it back, score it that way, open it up and push that down like so. So this has created my stepper card. Now to decorate this bit, you will have some paper left over. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to trim down this excess piece of paper. Now remember, I never measure unless I really have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, because it's got to go to the edge, put a line like so, and then make sure it fits between the score lines put a line like so. By having these little dashes, that enables you to use a paper trimmer, okay, and find your little dashes. So there's one of my little dash. Trim it down. And you don't have to worry about using a ruler or measuring. These little top tips make crafting easier and also more fun without having to worry about having to measure and line things up. So this is now going to go, going to sit in here. Use your adhesive. Let's get this out like so. Now remember you can use a three in one glue or you can use any double sided tape or any glue that you prefer. But always wiggle it into shape. I'm actually trying to line up my lines as well and then press down. So that's now that part is decorated. The next section of this card, I'm gonna leave it flat so while I'm working on it, is the lace part. Now I did say to have some lace. Now there isn't, you know, it's we actually using this lovely edging on the paper, but I'm putting some lace just over it like so. But it's a little bit long, so what I'm going to do is just trim it down using my scissors. So how's everybody doing? Are you all keeping up? Have you got any questions or queries? Just remember to write them on the box and then I'll answer them for you. So now I'm happy with my lace size. That's gonna go on that side. It's a little bit creased, but I will, once I've stuck it to the card, it will, all the creases will come out. Now you do have to use glue for this it actually sticks better than tape. Press that down 
like so. And then what I tend to do is let that dry and then we'll cut from the back. So I'm gonna leave that to dry for a few seconds while we decide on my little toppers. So you can have, so I've already cut out my toppers. So that one is from the design sheet. Now to remember to actually mat and layer it, which is the expression when you put one layer behind it, is exactly the same as I showed you a few minutes ago. So what I'm going to do is repeat it. So I'm going to leave a couple of mil round there like so. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess like so. And then I'm going to round the corners. I mean, it's entirely up to you. If you want to, you might have an, a rounder, um, a put round punch or even the scissors you can get to do the corners or you can just do it like I'm doing it, just going around the edges. Then I'm going to put some adhesive on, like so. And then wind it into place or wiggle it into place, I should say. So there's those. And then this one, okay, the picture does have it in green, but we're going to do it in purple. And I'm going to repeat the same exercise. It says, don't be afraid to blossom. Remember, leave a couple of mil on one side and then follow it round with your scissors. This is why I always recommend to use a large scissors because it makes it easier to do something like this. So just go round, following the shape like so. And then keep on going until you get the shape. And I do appreciate it can take a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of just moving the scissors, sorry, I'm moving the paper, not the scissors, <laughs> like that. There you go. You'll find that you've got the size that you want. Let's put some adhesive on that. Okay, so while we've been cutting that out, your lace should have actually now stuck to your card and then I always turn it from the back and then trim off any excess like so. Do it on that side, trim off the excess. Whoops, a little bit of paper there. And now that's nicely stuck and it's slowly coming together. So what I've then got is I've got my a lovely topper. I'm actually going to have it on an angle. And then I've got that one that says don't be afraid to blossom and this one goes on here. Now you can use any other sentiments on here if you want to. Um, you'll have a full design sheet so I'm actually going to quickly cut out this butterfly. You can use any elements that you want. You've got extra toppers for you to play with. When we do a design sheet we always fill it so there isn't a space. So I'm just gonna quickly cut this butterfly out. So I'm going to put this on my main topper and then we'll stick it together. Now the thing about stepper cards is everything literally is done from your main topper. So my main topper tells you what size stepper card it is. When I show you the other techniques later on, you'll notice that it all goes from your stepper shape. Right, so I've cut out my little butterfly. There we go. And I'm going to have that just at a little angle like so. And then we're going to stick it together. Now, the one thing you need to remember is you can use foam pads when it comes to your sentiments, but be careful when it comes to the lace. So on the lace side of things, I'm using the wet glue like that. Make sure I have it straight. Let's have it there. And then this one here, I am going to put on, there we go, some foam pads, just at an angle, like that. And then we'll stick on some ribbon that mine has just fallen to the floor, so we'll just get it picked up. 
There we go. Now here's another top tip. Use your pricking tool to take the foam pad top off. I find this much easier than trying to lift it up. There you go. I'm going to have that at a little angle, like so. There we go. And then what I want to do for the back bit, I'm also going to have that at an angle like that. Just put that on. And then I'll just leave it flat and I want to finish off by having a bow. Now I don't know about you, bows sometimes can be tricky. As you can see, I've cut my little thumb, so you need to make sure that when you are doing it, I says, everybody does it different. You can have a bow maker. I use this little saying that says, one little bunny rabbit ear, go around the tree, down the burrow. And that makes for me a perfect little bow. You can do it however you want. That's gonna go sit on that. Cut it off at a little angle. There we go. So how are you all doing? Is everybody keeping up with me? We've got a little bit of a bow that's gonna go there. And then we have finished off our lovely stepper card. Now you can put gems on it. You can put more sentiments on it. There we go. How's that everybody? So that's how easy it is to create a gorgeous stepper card. And what we're going to do now, so hopefully you are about there with me. So remember the actual topper always depicts the size of your stepper card shape. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm gonna show you how to create five different steppers and show you how easy it is without measuring. So let's put this to one side and we'll start with the next bit. So let me just move all my mess out of the way. Now remember you will need about four pieces of paper and these are to keep as a template. So I've got my paper here. Okay, everybody. So the first one, so that was a single stepper that we've done. So I'm going to do that again, okay? But this time I'm just going to do it taller. Now the reason why I'm doing this is you can literally leave this length of stepper fold it like so so remember you fold this forward and then fold it back like so and that will create the stepper that you've just done so that's the stepper but use it this way okay and look here's two cards so there's one there on using a different technique so we've actually put that one there and then I do have another one so that is that one okay then what you can do is use it the other way and make it longer look at that and by opening you can put that there all by just rotating that single stepper card you can create two more different techniques one this way and one that way so that is doing a single stepper card. So we get another piece of paper. The next one is a great one because it's called a gold postcard. So by doing a gold postcard, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting in the middle and you only go about halfway and leave an even gap on either side like so. So you end up with what looks like a gold postcard. Fold that forward, reinforce that line, and then fold it back like so. Open it up. If I can open it up, there we go. And then you push the middle in. That enables you to do this beautiful card called a gold postcard. So that one yet again, here's a card. So we've done an Art Deco and it's done a gold postcard. And the other thing to remember with all these steppers, if you want to do a double stepper, you can open it up and then fold that down again. And then we fold it back, you create a double stepper inside. And all you're doing is pushing down, going in out, and then you create a double stepper. 
like so. So this is the goal post card, everybody, and I've shown you how to do that. And then the next one I want to show you is a middle stepper. Now this one here is the opposite to what we've just done with the goal post. And what I mean by that, you cut exactly like you've just done with a goal post. So we're going to cut to there and then we're going to cut to there. But this time what you're going to do is fold the sides down. So then you are left with a middle stepper. So you fold forward like so, turn it over, fold back, recrease those lines. So then you have the center bit. Open it up like so. There we go. And then you have the middle stepper. So that gives you a middle stepper shape. Now remember, it's all to do with your stopper. Oh, sorry, your, with your main topper. So here is one here. So as you can see, we've also then used a, a, a die to cut this out, or you can use fancy edge scissors, but it's, it's just the same technique. It's a middle stepper card. So that is using that technique there. And then what we've then got is, I'm just now going to show you some extra techniques. So how many have I showed you? So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh yes, and then we've also done this one, which is four. Now here's some other sizes, I should say some shapes that we've actually done. So there is another middle stepper there. So as you can see, we've used that as the main bit. But don't be too worried. You can even make a long, if your top is much thinner, you've got that option there. And also you can rotate it. So there's another one there and we rotate it so it opens the other side. And remember, it's always your topper that tells you where you're going to cut. So there's another one there that you can be decorating. Or you can put things at an angle like we've just done with the lovely uh, rose. So this one's using a vintage style. And that card shape is the same as this one. But it looks so different because the topper is bigger and we've used different sentiments. So hopefully you've enjoyed doing these stepper cards. They are one of my favorites. Now remember, out of all these shapes that I've just shown you, you can make smaller ones by using a smaller card base to start off with. So have a go and happy crafting. <laughs>